Hey guys, thanks for whacking on the thumbnail. This weekend I saw Get Out, starring David Cullop, Allison Williams, Bradley Whitfield, and of course, Catherine Keener. And guys, this is with the K review. I'm obviously Batman. <laughs> with a K review! It's V-I-C? No, it's with a K. So when I usually see trailers for movies like Get Out, like a horror and thriller movies, I immediately get very nervous because I remember when I saw trailers for Lazarus Effect, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go see that movie. And then I saw it, and then it, it sucked really bad. But when I saw trailers for this, I was like, this movie looks like it's going to have like a horror, thriller, and a little bit of comedy in it because it is actually directed by Jordan Peele from Key and Peele. And I was really wondering, can he do it? Can he actually make me afraid? in this movie and kind of disturbed me. The story actually starts out with this guy named Chris and he's going with his girlfriend on a weekend retreat to meet her parents. Now, when you think about the, the premise of this story, like he's gonna go visit, you know, these parents, he's obviously black, they are white, there's gonna be just a ton of jokes about him being black and them being white. And yes, there is that, that does, happen in the movie and I kind of wish that it didn't sometimes like just to move the plot along but the jokes that are made about that or they're not done like you know to be like haha funny they're actually done in a way that kind of make the whole premise of the movie like really creepy and that's what really is the best thing about this entire movie is that it is very creepy get out by Jordan Peele does a great job of really making a very creepy atmosphere about you know a guy going into a place where he's not used to being and just kind of being just disturbed by just little things that he sees around and it's really hard for me to like tell you exactly like all these little creepy things that happen in the movie. I would have to say like one of the best parts in the movie was uh, his girlfriend Rose who's played by Allison. Now she does a really great job of the movie. Like if I could pick out like any character in this that holds everything together, it's her. And I haven't seen her in a whole lot. I guess she's on that show Girls. Like I don't have the DVD collection and or the Blu-ray collection or even the special edition. I don't have that. I don't. And also the other character in this movie that does an incredible job is the character of Chris that's played by David Cullop. And I really butcher that last name, I'm sorry. But he does a really amazing job. Like he was in the series Black Mirror and he was in the episode of 15 Million Merits. And he just, he has a really awesome way of acting like in this movie uh, like he could have played the character way different and he could have been like just really all over the place but I really appreciated the fact that like, he came in and he really helped keep the movie together and kept everything going even like the last 20 to 30 minutes of the movie it's really his character that just really brings everything together like every scene that he's in it's intense it's amazing and that's what really is the awesome part of this movie there's all sorts of like little scenes in this movie that some of them are comedy and some of them are horror but i enjoyed the way it was all kind of mixed together and it just kind of kept going the movie is like almost two hours long but it didn't feel like that in fact this is one of the times when i wish the movie was actually longer like even katherine keener and uh, bradley whitfield in this movie both of them have an amazing job that they did here as well. Bradley Whitfield, I think he was also on the West Wing. And he, as the father in this movie, he does an amazing job of just being like creepy and just like the way he interacts with Chris's character and sometimes are just hilarious. And really the only character in this movie that I can say that I didn't really like was the brother of Rose. And it, I didn't understand why he was actually in the movie. It just kind of felt like he came in in one scene. He came in like really strong and then all of a sudden okay he doesn't mean a whole lot and then towards the end he had more to do with stuff but I felt like he was probably like the weakest character in the movie but besides him being like not the greatest character everybody else in this movie just it, they made it so real so like you like I went in I felt like I, I saw a movie that wasn't just churned out of Hollywood like it usually is Jordan Peele did an amazing job really kind of like making things disturbing and giving like really fresh idea of like you know different types of racism and, and speaking about cultural boundaries and everything like that so I'm gonna have to give get out a 4k and I liked it so much, I'm going to give it an honorary over 9,000. I really think that everybody should go see it this weekend. Go see it for any price, at any time. Make it, when it comes out on streaming, make sure to see it on the streaming services. And when it comes out on Redbox or whatever, you need to go see this movie because it's not only disturbing, there's also horror to it, 
but it's actually done really, really well. And I think this is going to be in my top five movies for this year. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching my review. Really do appreciate all my viewers and subscribers. Make sure to whack out a comment below and let me know what is your favorite episode of uh, Key and Peel, and what is your just favorite like comedy horror movie of all time. Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, never forget, if you don't like what you're watching, you can always turn it off. But thanks for coming back and seeing me. Now check this out.